Coming to you from our GIS studios, I'm Nisha Charles and this is your Midday News Brief. Government is in the process of implementing affordable housing for St. Lucians. During the 2019-2020 budget debate, the Honorable Prime Minister announced that government would be implementing several of those projects to give more St. Lucians the opportunity to own their piece of the country. Currently, the foundation for one of these developments is being laid down in Beauchamp Miku. Site preparation is also underway in Shock and Boisjoli Denry, with several other housing projects to commence later this year. All of the projects are being developed by local contractors. The St. Lucian Nurses Association and the government negotiating team recently signed the collective bargaining agreement which covers the period April 1, 2016 to March 31, 2022. According to Chairman of the government negotiating team, Vern Gill, the agreement reflects outcomes that are beneficial to both parties, including increases in salaries and benefits. The agreement entails a lump sum payment of $1,500, which is aimed at addressing the period 2016 to 2019, 1% for the period 2018 to 2019, 1% for 2019 2020, 1% for 2020. 2021 and 2% for 2021-2022. The agreement was signed on June 4, 2019. Prime Minister Honorable Alan Shastney continues to lead the charge for the Caribbean when it comes to sustainable development and the impact of climate change. The Prime Minister is participating in a high-level panel discussion under the theme Vulnerability to Resilience, you choose at the Caribbean Development Bank's 49th Annual Meeting of the Board of Governors. The event seeks to highlight the current and planned initiatives in regional economies to reduce their vulnerability and strengthen resilience to exogenous shocks, natural hazards and climate change. The event will also identify opportunities or initiatives for improved regional cooperation to foster strength and resilience. The June 5th to June 6th meeting is being held at the Hyatt Regency in Port of Spain, Trinidad and Tobago. And that's all for your midday news brief. Thanks for tuning in.